Okie doke, so this is the laser harp. Um, it's mostly complete. We've got, um, over a little overview here. There's the galvo and the laser head. This is all in a nice little flex and click case here. Um, over here we have the galvo amplifier. <coughs> it's a galvo amplifier. Laser power supply. Uh, that's the microcontroller in there. And then also is a uh, Galvo power supply. Decided upon 10 beams. The Galvo actually didn't seem quick enough for uh, 12 beams. It seemed to have a fair amount of flicker in it when it had the, uh, the 10 beams. The camera's actually picking up the flicker now, but in real life here to the human eye, it's, it's a solid beam. You can see here it's pretty much in a nice small little case there, powered off the 120 volt mains. And uh, all it's left to do now is to construct the construct the beam sensor. The beam sensor is essentially going to um, essentially what it'll do is is it'll sit on the floor behind the harp. So whenever somebody puts their hand into a beam, like so, um, the light reflects down to the sensor and the sensor picks it up and detects it as a beam of being tripped and because the microcontroller knows the timing of every single one of these beams it can correlate the timing of the beam placement to the timing of the sensor being tripped and determine which one of uh, these particular um, harp strings were were uh, triggered. I'm also going to include a distance sensor right here that actually points up at the player's hand so that um, once you trip a beam you can move your hand up or down the beam like so and actually pitch bend the notes. That's a later feature to add but anyway that's just my update for now. It's uh, the Galvo's working, laser's working, still have a lot of code to write, still got to implement all the MIDI code but it looks cool. I guess that's a start. Until next time.